Hey everybody, I'm Ryan. Today we're going to talk about the Feast of the Winter Vale in World of Warcraft. Now if you want to learn more about any of the stuff I mentioned in the video, the links to those things are going to be in the description if I've done videos on those already. When winter arrives, dwarves and tauren tell the story of the Winter Vale blanketing the land and snow, and view it as a time for the land and the people for renewal and celebration. The legends among these races are similar to each other, but each race acknowledges the legends differently. Generally, the word Wintervale stems from a supernatural being called Great Father Winter, who would walk the land and blanket in the snow, carrying his wintry veil with him. Dwarves choose to celebrate the season to recognize Great Father Winter, to celebrate their origins. They think of him as a personification of the Titans, who the dwarves claim their lineage from, the Earthen, who were created by the Titans, Dunmoreau, they believe, is the greatest example of the blessings of the Great Father. And this holiday was even introduced to the rest of the Alliance by Muradin Bronzebeard. The Tauren also adopted the legend of the Winter Vale through their shamanistic heritage and druidism. They tend to focus on the natural types of the lore and ignore the legend worship of Great Father Winter. They use it as a time to give thanks for their home in Mulgore. Every year, a large tree is set up in Ironforge and Orgrimmar. They have a tradition where every winter they have a feast of the Winter Vale, where they feast and give presents to one another, especially the children. An adult is often designated to don the clothes of Great Father Winter to hand out the presents. When Jaina and Arthas were involved with one another, Jaina had been treated like she was a part of the royal family. She was fitted for a dress for the Winter Vale Ball with Leanne Menethil. When Arthas realized how serious this was getting, Arthas broke up with her because he realized how unready he was at Wintervale. One year, Chris, a goblin, couldn't find another job. So he got a job with Smoky Wood Pastures, working the feasts of the Wintervale. On the eve of it, the adult playing Great Father Winter drank himself into a stupor. So Chris dressed up as him to be an Ironforge, giving out presents. One gnome girl, Follow Rizzlesprocket, told Chris dressed as Great Father Winter, that all she wanted for Winter Vale was for Great Father Winter to bring her daddy home. The famous engineer, Fritz Rizzlesprocket, who had been missing for two weeks. Chris was going to ignore the request, but one of the reindeer, Metzen, wanted Chris to fulfill the wish. Chris had found out that he was kidnapped by Dark Iron Dwarves, who were forcing him to turn a robot into a weapon. Chris saved him. The Dark Iron Dwarves were arrested and Chris had Wintervale feasts with Fritz and his family. Then the robot was used to put a star on the Wintervale tree. In the words of Blizzard Entertainment itself, "'Twas the feast of Great Winter, and all through the land, all the races were running with snowballs in hand. The cooks were all frantic, and for those in the know, swoops and owls were crashing like new fallen snow." Cookies and eggnog were consumed by all, as the snowballs flew freely, and drunks smashed into walls. May our feast of great winter be one merry and bright, and from all here at Blizzard, we wish you a fun night. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a wonderful feast of the winter veil. Please, please like and subscribe. I hope you get some good presents. Bye.